Wisdom. wisdom grants us speech. Uh, hey there, either holder, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to the Owl House Season 2, Episode 10. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Wait, we're back. Lucy's home? Hold up, what? Wait, are we gonna see into the life of this imposter Luce? This is definitely the imposter loose because why would why would she be throwing away all of like her stuff or packing it all up? Also, I love how it's this side up and they have it not up, they have it down. Also, all little young younger loose with the the gap, the two the tooth gap. Actually, it's probably not a tooth gap. It's just her having lost a tooth. Never mind. <laughs> you even you even wear your hair differently than real loose. Hmm. What's the box for me, huh? Just Donation. A little. Oh, I'm uh, just looking for a fresh start. Are you happy now, mommy? Are you, you wanted her to be inside the box, not go out of it. So now she's really in. She's she, she's so inside the box. <laughs> Ma's regretting now. She's like, maybe I shouldn't have sent her to this camp. <laughs> it's really changed her. It sure did. <gasps> oh. Loose. Grab the pliers. Wait, is that a trap? Okay, okay, little bunny. You're gonna be all right. Oh, there we go. I swear to God, if this imposter loose like eats it or something or pulls a no, I was about to say Monty Python, but never mind. That didn't. That was a squirrel. If I actually no, it was a rabbit. Maybe it was a rabbit. Let's go back inside. It's her. I'll it's the imposter rules. loose. It's the imposter loose setting them. No, nah, I don't trust it. You. <laughs> hey, loose. Okay, so the imposter loose reacted out of shock, not like I expected she was going to, which is like an evil villain, like just be like, yeah, you're stuck in there. She looks more shocked. So wait, does this imposter loose like is her own thing and she actually doesn't realize she's a creation or something? So? Yesterday's lie. I wonder what the lie is gonna be about. Your crazy apocalypse supplies I see that Titan blood on the gloves. It's okay. If Bellos is still trying to get to the human realm, she's gonna put it on and, imagine, and watch her be like, Amity wore this. Okay, I'm kidding. I don't think she's down that bad. He'll have to beat me to it. Oh, just rips the finger off. Uh. Are you sure this is. Wait, 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 hold up. That, 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 that figurine. The figurine on the top right that's hanging from the coat hanger, that's the one from episode one, isn't it? I think. Episode one or two. I think it's episode one. Abomination head. Are you sure this isn't gonna like blow our I'm sorry, is that a human skull hanging from Okay. Our faces off? Nope. Well, here goes something. And she's using the bathtub lying thing. And where's the extra blood from? That's a funky one. I don't know if I'd step into that. The human realms are filled with some real weirdos. <laughs> real weirdos. Don't forget to mention me. Okay. Don't forget to mention me. She'll probably show, show her mom photos first. <gasps> this doesn't look like the human world. Dimensional cubes. Multi-universe. Am I back at the owl house? Whoa. Oh, so each cube is like a window? She's made it this far. We I wonder if they could see her. her. I would think so. Oh, so she's not actually teleporting there. It's like she's seeing through. Huh? Luce, of course your first thought once you realize you can go be like teleport into glass or whatever mirrors is Amity. <laughs> Gotta check on it. Wait, careful, because what if Amity is like in the middle of changing. No, no, no. Come on, Luce, you're on a mission. <laughs> it's like, keep the thoughts for your girlfriend away. Wait, so was it responding to her wanting to see Amity, so it was bring up a cube for her to do that? Of course, it's the high one. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, this is topsy turvy. Oh wait, we're seeing a photo of dad, mom, and Luce. 
Interesting. So you got, but they're blocking the dad's face. But uh, at least we're getting a body reveal. I guess. Gosh, uh, Lewis looks a lot like her mom. I'm gonna guess she definitely took after her mom mostly. <laughs> I wonder what happened to her dad though. Is it gonna be like some big twist with the dad or something, or it's just gonna turn out to be like a tragic thing where he like died or left? Mama? He went to go get milk and never came back. Oh. Or no, I know. The Mexican version of that would be he went to go get some like horchata and he never came back. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Evil doppelganger. Mama. Okay, so judging from the beginning of this episode where Luz looks much more banged up and scratched and everything, she must go through some interesting scenarios before she finally gets to the the sliding glass? No, the the uh, closet door uh, to confront her evil doppelganger. Well, I can finish up here, me, huh? Thanks, mom. Now she's gonna go set traps for another poor innocent bunny. Oh. You. So you can hear. Okay, never mind. Hear from the demon realm. Listen. What was that voice? That voice change. Hold up. Hear from the demon realm. Listen. I don't recognize her voice. So it's not someone we've met before. I just wanna. And you just blink sideways like a freaking. I don't know what. Um, what are those animals that have like a lid that like blinks over their eye? Okay, not sideways. No, wait, yeah, sideways because it closes like this. I don't remember what animal it is. I'm not going back. I, I won't go back. Oh, interesting. So, okay, it's like I thought. So this, they're not there with evil intentions. I bet you there's someone that, that, or something that's not been paid, but wanted a better life and either Bellos or whoever is the one behind wanting to keep her mom, Luce's mom from knowing that Luce is gone. I still don't understand that. Um, so they must have promised whoever this is with a better life if they impersonated uh, Luce. I just saw a spoiler for Monster Slayer Academia. Monster Slayer Academia. Okay. I will never understand anime. I'll never understand anime. It's okay, you don't have to. We'll under we'll we'll understand it. Okay, you're acrobatic. Are you gonna end up in that No, because the portal's not there. So this is it. I'm gonna have to run again. Why couldn't Who this just work out? Who's Who's setting these traps? Oh, what are Make it tighter. Huh? It was Luce setting- No, Luce wasn't setting the trap, so who's in the Oh, she's kinda cute. Wait. Wait, is she a baby version of that, um, oh my god, the one from the first season, I believe. That giant basilisk-like creature that was take could take forms of other people and was like impersonating others, like she impersonated or import yeah, she. Uh, she impersonated the, um... Oh, the, the other... The other schools, like, she was coming to check out, uh, Hexi to see if they were up to snuff or, like, up to standards and everything. And then sure enough to be that, that basilisk thing that wanted to eat magic and stuff. Is this, like, a baby version of her? Okay, I'm not like the... I like the baby version way more. Yeah, it's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, What's your name? You're cute. I mean, I'm V. V? I don't want to think of a V. Okay. <laughs> Cute name, though. <laughs> there you go. Nice and easy. I love how Luce is still so, like, this is someone who is literally taking over Luce's life. Sort of. Uh, impersonating Luce. And seemed to have, see well... Didn't have bad intentions, but just was impersonating her. And like Lewis immediately goes into like, oh, this creature, I'm gonna help it and stuff instead of going, nah, you know what? Until you tell me what your reason is for impersonating me, I'm not helping you get out of the shut. No, nah. her first thing is, I'm gonna help you get out. <laughs> I love Luce. You must be Camila's real daughter. I am, but right now. How could you tell? Just looking for a place to belong. But who told you? Like did you, unless they, unless this was actually not sent, 
they weren't sent by anyone and they just happened to come across the situation and blend in? I don't I don't think so. I mean, uh, Camila seems so kind. So I stayed with her, but uh... So wait, they came from the boiling Alice, I'm guessing? But because of you, she hasn't realized I've been missing. So I'm sorry, the way that they're blinking closed like this, I know that's what the the adult version did, but like Seeing that happen on a child's face and stuff is a, a human child's face is a little creepy. Secrets of Gravesfield? No, no, that's junk. Turn it over. It's junk, Change turn over. Woman banned from cafe. That's Ida, the owl lady. She has been coming here for years. She uh, yeah. Some magic who's recording? Yeah, cause who's setting all these traps again? Are they expecting stuff to come through that they want to try out? Founded in 1635. Is this it? Robin's Rose I, Cafe. I, I just... Ah, ears! Ears! <sighs> just say you're cosplaying. Oh, Marilyn? Yeah, she tried to pay... Marilyn. That's Ida's name. Human name, Marilyn? Marilyn Monroe. I swear, are those the drawings behind Ida? Or are they like people that worked on the show? What I feel like one of them... I don't think one of them is Dana. No, I don't think. Yeah, no, no. Uh, the girl on the left would not be Dana. But they've got to be like animators or something. Someone. Also, of course, Ida would be hugging or holding up a rabid looking raccoon. Now we have a whole new problem. What new problem? I don't smell any magic. <laughs> Reddit wisdom grants us speech. Uh, are they going to need to be eaten? Creepy. Talking rats. <laughs> Luce, I love you, but can you please not look at freaky demon looking rats and go cool? Maybe they know something. I don't think they're friendly. <gasps> there. <laughs> what about the wizard obsessed guy? And is asking you to shed your old ways and enter a metamorph. Wait, why do these three seem familiar? Are they the ones that Luce became friends with that were like in the secret space? In hex side that like you had like the dog i think and then you had the three other human like not humans three witches is this them did they come to this world no how could they get i don't think it's them they remind me of them though spiritual leader you're meant to be is that azula's va again i want to practice death Whoa. you're running from your past from a previous life that was not kind to you. However, the guilt and fear you carry will eventually catch you in a self-fulfilling prophecy that you won't be able to escape from. You know what that reminds me of? The way that line was delivered, it reminds me of when Azula said the, uh, was it on the Fire Island episode where she was like, she started saying stuff like, you will burn for all eternity, and then we will, <laughs> it's like, it went, she was trying to, like, befriend the other uh, like, people her age, and her sisters were like, okay, you need to, like, not sisters, but her friends, um, Tylee, I think, and, oh my god, was a more emo, serious one. I forgot her name. But they were like, come on, you need to, like, talk to people, you know, befriend them, kind of stuff, and then she's just like, she started normal, and she's like, then you will burn, and then we will make their cities crumble, and that kind of thing, it just reminds me of that, where it's, like, really ominous, but she's sitting in, like, <laughs> she's, like, cheerful, but also, like, ominous, the way she's saying it. You're gonna need some bath bombs, girl. Anyway, bath bombs? I got the con I gotta find out where she bought those contacts. <laughs> Welcome to the Gravesfield Historical Society. Oh, let me guess. You're He sounds familiar. No, nah, he really he actually sounds familiar. You're here to buy those weird cards, right? Oh my god, could that be the voice actor that voices Sonic as well as Mirage from Apex Legends? And also Kane from um uh, 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 Dying Light. It sounds up. Is that him? No way. They, they didn't actually get him to voice someone here, did they? How did you know? Well, they've been really popular with high schoolers. Yes. No, that's him. That is so him. There's no way it's not. It was really odd, though. She kept asking. No, yeah, that that's him. I will, I will swear. A nothing, but I will swear that I'm ninety nine percent certain that is his voice actor. Just gotta sniff out um okay? something magical. You would 
your mom that loved you a home, a life, you had it good, and you still want- Watch their mom be like the one that was trying to eat everyone's magic at the school. I didn't have a choice. Why? My real name is number five. Number five? Okay, I'm sure there's a reason for that, but all I can think of when I hear number five is number five from Kids Next Door. I'll, I swear, if the voice actress for number five is voicing her or them, I don't want to say, because I know it was brought up in, uh, I know it was brought up in the comments that I, I probably should not say, like, pronouns until they've been confirmed and stuff. So I'm trying to say they with them. Um, but yeah, uh, I would love it if number five's voice actress actually is voicing them. That'd be cool. A little nod, too. I'm a basilisk, and technically, basilisk, I, yes. I shouldn't exist. My kind went extinct a long time ago. Yeah, that's true. But we were brought back. Oh, some of you I actually keep... know how we drained magic. I met oh. a basilisk once. She hurt a lot of people. For many of us, all we knew how to do. Oh, look at them. They're defending the little rats. Hello, fellow human. Um, Hello, human. But I'm also thankful that you did. I don't know. It's confusing. I like them. Do you smell something? Magic. Oh my god. That's like that freaking uh, Mr. Bean meme. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, how to catch a witch and what to do when you find one. Which one is it? Har har. Well, wait, wait, there's a lot in here. Holy, a lot of witch stuff, but, uh, Secrets of Grayfield. So is this guy that's running the museum aware of the magical stuff going on? Okay, I'm not even gonna point out everything else, but there's a lot of things. Not all of them are like visible anyway. Wait, I'm sorry. Is that that book on the shelf on the right? Is that the all seeing eye or is that Bill? Is that a nod to Bill from Gravity Falls? Wait, no, you got you got Ida with the croissants. You got the cards, you got something with again. Ida. Meteor UFO. Oh wait, he's he's got a photo of Vita in her owl form. <laughs> Oh. Okay, he's the one that's been sent. All right, I you know what? Oh. Have we been followed this whole time? Mm, you're not gonna be allowed to escape. Oh no. Can we see more? I'm sorry. Is that a little alien figure that's put between oppressor? What? Oh, there's this. You need to calm down. Are you real? Okay, so the I don't think he's trying to experiment on them or anything. I think he's just curious or wants to know more. A few years back, I had a chance encounter with another one of your kind. Yeah, I, at first Nita? I couldn't believe what I saw, but after watching a few YouTube videos, I learned YouTube the truth, and they're all sent from Mars to harvest human teeth to power their time machine. <sighs> Lose his face. I literally was about to be like, no. <laughs> That's a that is a meme face right there. That's a who wants to break it to him. <laughs> Get my account verified. Get comfortable. Oh my god. Really? Really? That's his first thought. Not, you know what? I'm gonna be proving something insane that nobody's ever believed or very few believe that magic is real and that creatures like you exist and stuff and everything. Not nah, his first thought is, I want to get verified. Because <laughs> you'll be in cages for the rest of your life. Okay, never mind. You know, I had hope for you, but never mind. It just disappeared. I really like their form, their basilisk form. It's cute. <laughs> it, 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 like before, I didn't like the adult basilisk. Ew, that form is nah. Baby, young form, cute. <laughs> Yeah, don't give up, V. Realistic. Don't let yourself be shredded by robots. Dinosaur like robots. Goodbye, Luz. No! Aw. Aw. number five. V, Vi, number five. Camila no se da. 
Is she gonna talk to mom? Boop. <laughs> mom are you oh my god, she does the boop thing like Luz does, or Luz, I guess, does the thing that she does. About the last few months, let me tell you about a place called Boiling Isles. Oh, how's this you reaction know, gonna be? You wanted me to pick you and your friend up. You didn't have to make up this elaborate story about the demon realm. I'm not making it up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till she sees uh, number five. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll play along. I know this uh -huh. stuff makes school difficult, but I'm glad you're still being creative. <laughs> I love how the mom's like, you know what? I was getting kind of concerned that the camp completely wiped that creative side of you away. <laughs> so she's like, oh, I'm good to see some of it still in you. Do you work for the government? Oh, I I'm a veterinarian, actually. What? So veterinarian? that I get to publish my findings first. Okay. Uh, Okay. Good. <laughs> now you're bound by law. Fun. Now you're bound by law. Fun. You even made me a part of your game. Wow, this is so fun. Camille, yeah. Um, she's gonna be. Ooh, I swear, I swear to God, if she sees number five or V and goes, "What a great costume!" I'm gonna go, "No way." <laughs> is this one of those escape rooms? Or oh my God. um, by telling you the secret history of Gravesfield. <laughs> no touchy. Two brothers were lured into a realm of Is one of those brothers Phil the first human to be in Boiling Isles? Hmm. I also noticed that one of them has a bird on their shoulder. Could that be Palisman? Hmm. Luz, this is quite a detailed story. But now it's I not fake, Mom. Wow. Camille. Camille. Uh, convincing. Camille. Costume? <laughs> Camille. <gasps> yeah. Costume? <laughs> How Camille's like, oh, wait a minute. More vile beings will probably come to its rescue. But I can protect humanity. More vile beings, you mean like loose? I, I even had some custom gear made at the Renaissance Fair. Usually, I don't take it out for just anyone. That seems very impractical. Flat or Earth Society. <laughs> This game anymore. It's not, not a game. game. Mama. Has been living with me the entire time. Mm -hmm. It's just a. <sighs> the blinking of the eyes doesn't help, even though you're adorable. Who knew I had such a strong girl living under my roof this whole time? Aww. Aww. <laughs> so how do I look? Maybe we can. You look ridiculous. Wonderful. the press tour, but. Let's begin our live dissection of this demon right now. Hello. Stop. Uh, you know what? I don't have the imagination for this. I don't have the imagination for this. Like, screw it. I'm not good at this stuff. I'm the good guy here. Yeah. Uh, sure. A lot of bad. The chunkla. <laughs> not the chunkla. <laughs> I was wondering if that ever happened in here because <laughs> Camila was Mexican. <laughs> no, I fear the Chongla. That, that, that could come from another, like, opposite side of the planet. I say that. <laughs> he even got it. Yes. Is it okay to leave him in there? He'll be fine. He'll live. He can use the time for some self reflection. Hopefully, he won't be a problem later on. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Look what I can do with the rain. Oh, hey, reflection. So you have a place here for as long as. So now mom knows and she's accepting of it. <gasps> Magic! Oh. They're like chips. Thanks for being uh, cool about everything. <laughs> oh, because she misses Luz. How are you going to get back here? Good is question. Is this the only way I can touch you? Can you not, uh, can we not like foreshadow something in the future where like Luz cannot, like, no. Yes, I've learned so much. Staying I also have a girlfriend now. Here was the best decision I ever made. You chose to stay there? Oh. Uh-oh. Come on, no! No, I just wanted to live in a fantasy world for a bit, not forever, you know, with how anti-fantasy you were and all that stuff. When you come home, promise you'll stay here. I didn't- Wait. She's holding her. I thought they- I thought they can't interact. Promise me, Luz. Please. Okay, Mom. I promise. That almost looked like her spirit going to have- Don't that be a foul shadow, I swear. 
So does that mean, like you have a glove, so does that mean each f finger is a chance to have that portal and then you have the main section, so it's six chances altogether? Did you talk to your mom? Did you mention me? Yeah. Uh, I didn't really have time, uh, but... I'm gonna eat human snacks! I can't wait King, to no. parenting tips! Who dubbed sure, you parenting tips. <laughs> Poor Luz. I know, wait, I, I want to see if they bring up, uh, I'll recognize his name, the one that voiced the, uh, oh, the history guy that wanted to capture V. Roger Craig Smith. I knew it. I knew it was him. Yeah. Okay, so V is V-E-E. -E. I liked, I think Luz called her her, right? I'm pretty sure she did. Hold on. I wanna, I wanna check this to make sure if I say anything further, cause I'll feel bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did though. It's just a lot to believe. Her name is V and- Her name, okay. Okay, I'm in the clear. <laughs> I know what to call, uh, I know what to refer her as. Okay, so let me go back to the ending part. Um, and then I lost my train of thought, I was trying to say. But, um, Okay, yeah, I was just, okay, yeah, I didn't really lose my train of thought. I was just, I point out her name being V-E-E, -E, not just the letter V. Um, but yeah, I really like V. She's cute. She's sweet. I, I, I had a feeling, I'm like, this is either going to be someone that works for Bellos, and it's like a twist, but I like, or not a twist, but um, that's how it's going to go. Or they're going to actually be someone that unintentionally found. Not unintentionally found, but like, there. No, okay. I'm I'm like changing it. What I originally thought was okay. It's either going to be they were hired by Bellos and they're evil like Bellos and all that stuff and everything, or they're going to be someone that wanted a better life and Bellos or whoever whoever is the one. I'm just saying Bellos because I really feel like it is, or he would do something like that. But that kind of would be confusing because how would he's trying to get to the human realm. So if he was able to send someone to their home, human realm, why wouldn't he just go then? So that actually doesn't make sense. So never mind. Um, but I just thought, I love how they made it seem like it was like ominous and, and malicious and everything that this, ooh, this doppelganger was taking over, like taking Luce's place and everything. And they tried making it look like, yeah, this is a bad thing. But then it turns out, oh, it's just actually a, a young basilisk that was being imprisoned by Bellos. And, um... It actually just wanted to escape and saw the opportunity with uh, Luce and Camille. So eh, that's what she did. Um, but I like that. It's different because usually it always is like a villain or like a sidekick to the main villain or something like that that's doing those kind of things. Or like somebody they hire. So I like that it was actually just an innocent creature just wanting to escape and live their life and, you know, be loved and everything. So, um, yeah. All right. Let me get into my thoughts because that kind of was my thoughts. But, you know. Whatever. I mean, you know, yeah. Okay, so my thoughts for this episode. You already kind of got it. But pretty much, I already said what I liked for the plot-wise for this episode. I did like the, 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 the twists of the whole imposter um, trope and everything. I like that it was different. Um, uh, I wonder if that, that uh, not custodian, but I wonder if that history guy, the museum guy, is going to be a problem later on. Or something like if he reveals something, uh, like that Camille knows about demon. I mean, not that anyone's gonna believe him, so it's not like he can go to someone and say, "Hey, the, you know, out them" or anything like that. So I, I don't think he will. I don't think he will. Um, but I wonder what Luz is gonna like. We <laughs> poor Luz. I still don't like that foreshadow of almost her floating like and fading away like a spirit, and and uh, I'm just like. Please don't be a foreshadow or something where she has to like she's gonna die or something and that's her like and it's gonna be a she's gonna have to say goodbye to like actually goodbye to like everyone in that way like that'd be horrible i will break if that happens um but uh yeah i mean i really like the plot for this episode characters uh the only thing about the museum guy i would say is that i liked was his, he was voiced by roger because i lo absolutely love roger's voice um, and all the characters that he voices. So, this would be the first time I don't love the character that he's voicing. Um, I just like his voice. <laughs> um, I really like how, like, we've always seen the mom is caring. Like, she's cared about Luce. It's not like she was just really strict. 
um, you can't be, you can't have freedom of expression, you can't be like this. She just goes, oh, you're quirky and weird, you know, maybe you might want to sort that out and, you know, separate fantasy from reality. Like, okay, like, I still don't agree with how she went about it. And, you know, that she's concerned that Luce, a 13 slash 14 year old, I don't remember specifically, I just know she was Luce either 13 or 14, I'm pretty sure 14. Um, but she's so concerned over a 14 year old having fantasies and wanting to edit anime class and stuff and everything like, oh, you're, you're like in your 20s already doing this stuff, even though kind of me. Um, <laughs> uh, and she's treating like, oh, that's not good. You're not going to have real friends and everything, you know, like actual real friends that aren't make believe and stuff. And so I didn't agree with Camille with that, but I could see it was coming from a place of love that she just wants what's best for Luce and everything. So it was still hard to see this where she was having to say goodbye to Luce. And the, even with how she handled uh, V, where she was able to separate Demon from just, she's a child. She's Demon, but she's a child Demon. And so she just wants love and everything. So Camille talked to her in a very like soft way and like, you know, and that kind of stuff. Like, I really like that. Um, made me like Camille a lot more. Like, I already was, like, okay with her. I was like, okay, she's the mom. You know, all right, whatever. But, like, I like her a lot more now. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Plot was great. Uh, characters were great. Animation was great. Music. I would say music was good. Um, yeah. I, uh, I think that's my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you like early access to my full and edited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link is in the description and pinned comment below. Anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep bringing bright. See ya!